All right, let's see. In the town on the hill where the apples grow, the church bells ring every hour or so. I took a little walk just to see Woo! the ships coming in. Sun rose up right above the highway. Black, blue, red, yellow, golden skyway. It's like the day that you jumped yeah. into me. There I came Back sometime in early July, when the fresh strawberries filled the farm stands and the great summer rains were just beginning. My good friend Jared took me catfishing down in the valley on the big river. Someone's bride by an Egyptian sheets. The window display of some little store in town. There's my reflection against the morning light. Hello, Mr. Ghost, Mr. Skeleton White. Better comb your hair, better wipe that George Clay off your brow. What, what's the, oh, you throwing something? You better stand up straight, man. These people hardly recognize you now. Lord, and as the world turned blue and the orange moon rose, the lightning bugs came out by the thousands. Before I slid around the dark side of the moon, all this spinning around hurts my head. I just sit here lonesome for you. There's a million things I'd rather do instead. I know takes a lot to change a worried mind, and I know it takes a year to see the warm summertime, but I'm made of nails, man, made of tombstone, and tall, tall tree. And just after the fireworks were over, I caught my first ever walleye. Stone fields, and the nails will rust, tall oak trees, they all turn to dust. Every day and it's so slow you can't even see I guess I'll try to find another thing to be And back at the cabin the water was still high and we took time to relax with Mowgli before tackling projects Comfort me before I slip dark side of the moon all this spinning around hurts my head I just sit here lonesome for you there's a million things I would rather do that's the three whole trip line I just sit here lonesome and one weekend we helped Allie's parents split their wood and then got back to it at the new house. <laughs> One day this room will be my dream office, but for now, it's a mess. But I need a vocal booth in order to do my voiceovers for my videos. So I bought a mobile one that I can set up and I might be leaving for a couple months at the end of the summer, so I might need to take this with me. I don't exactly know how it's gonna work out. I'm gonna be working with a really good friend of mine doing something that I've been looking to learn a lot more about. It's gonna be a big life change. So I just have a lot of my random gear and stuff spread all over the place, and that's gonna be where my desk will be eventually. I want to put two big windows, another smaller window up here that'll look out to the driveway, and I think having the windows will 
completely transform this. I want to have a studio. I want to have a space that my friends and I can come create, make music, make podcasts, make anything we want. Just a room dedicated just to sound and visual arts and all that. So we'll see how it plays out. This is my number one project at the house. It's just so hard with the cabin because I really want to button that place up. But <sighs> oh, this is what we got. It's definitely a weird feeling to be at this point in my career and to have my studio look like this. I'm a very organized person. That's how I get things done. It's gonna be another year probably till I have a good studio, but I enjoy the struggle. I'm st I still haven't made it yet, you know. It humbles you and it's a good thing to be humbled no matter how far you've come. I mean, I've had really nice offices, so to now be in a in a dark room <laughs> with all my gear a mess. Just like a reality check, I guess. I don't understand how I could smell that bad. I guess partially from cat pee in that room that I'm smelling. Ugh, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is grand. Very, very, very good. We have to put a bucket on the floor. thing's gonna fill up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's picking up. Unless this is just happening and now it's getting worse and worse by the side. Wait, look, it's like it's actually getting really bad right now. And soon after discovering how dire the need for a new roof really is, the trooper broke down and left us stranded at the top of the mountain. And when Allie's parents gave us a ride back to the house that day, we were greeted with another new surprise in the driveway. Not only was the driveway washing out from the rain, but now we had our wires yanked into a wet hemlock where it was slowly catching on fire. And by now I had called AAA three separate times and they failed to tow the trooper without any reasoning. But luckily, Jared let me borrow his truck for the time being. The guy's a lifesaver. Five minutes. And so it was multiple calls on multiple separate days, waiting for the tow truck that never came, until one day I got a call from the state trooper, and they were towing my car at my expense. So things were going a little rocky, but we stayed steady as we could and bought a liner for the hot tub to remedy the leaks as a warm soak would hit the spot right about now. And that brings us to this video sponsor, which is Beam Dream Powder. Dream Powder is a delicious hot cocoa for bedtime, but it's not packed with sugar or anything like that. In fact, it has no added sugar and only 15 calories. The best thing you can do for your body and your mind is to get good sleep. When you wake up rested, you feel optimistic, you feel strong, you feel like you can take anything on. When life gets really hectic and I have a lot of different things to do and coordinate, I tend to lay in bed awake with my mind just racing and I have a really hard time getting good sleep. I've tried a lot of different sleep aids, but I've never tried one that is as good as Dream. Dream is clinically shown to help 93% of people get a more restful night's sleep. Some of the star ingredients of Dream are nano CBD. Now this has no THC or anything like that. It also has reishi, which is a mushroom that can help support the body's sleep cycle. It has magnesium, L-theanine, and then you probably know about melatonin. It's all completely natural, just simple, wholesome ingredients that help relax the body and promote good sleep. Dream powder comes in different flavors and potencies so you can customize it for your lifestyle. So if you've been having trouble with sleeping and want to 
try something that's worked for me, just hit the link in my description and use code Trout and Coffee to get 35% off your first order when you subscribe and then 20% off all following orders. Plus, when you subscribe to Dream Powder, you'll receive a free frother with your first order. You can pause, skip, or cancel at any time so there's no risk. So thank you to Beam for sponsoring this video and for supporting this channel. And now back to the story. So the garden was just starting to fruit, and we were getting a few full cabin days here and there. Days that felt like the daydreams we used to have. This is all about. What? Oh. And there was a sporadic night with John at the Dreamaway Lodge to watch Woody Guthrie's grandson play the piano. And then Mao met Hudson for the first time, and we continued with the cedar shakes at the cabin. <laughs> Everybody got a snack, even if they didn't do anything like Mao. So we want to start with 700 grams of bread flour. This might be all of my flour, but you gotta make dough, so. So a few minutes. We'll have to get off of sourdough starter. And I made dough for the first time in months and chipped away on leftover projects. I've been craving one of these for so long. and we had some simple, peaceful nights down there in the pines. And then I got Georgie the van back after a long stint in the shop, and we got out on the paddle boards for the first time this year. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? My. water was warm and the blueberries were popping up. It was summer in the rolling hills. And it was the little sporadic stops in the middle of nowhere on weekday eves that satiated that longing for the golden summer nostalgia that I remember as a kid. And there were mornings at the cabin where it was hard to tell if you had actually woken up yet. And I was born What kind of bread? Oh, it's called flap flapjack. That's what happens when you overproof your bread. And I kept fiddling with old blue, but it had been weeks now and she was still sitting. So 
the house is, it feels like a home though it's uh, still very messy. We're still setting things up, stuff all over the place. There's still buckets under the window. We've gotta come up with some kind of gutter system until, <laughs> indoor gutter system that is, until we can afford to get the roof done. It's a mess, but something that I've been wanting to do is get back into working out. I haven't really worked out all that much. My shoulder has been killing me. Same kind of impingement I had in my right shoulder. I know that I can fix it, but it takes space and time and dedication. And so I'm gonna set up the gym in the basement. The basement, it floods, so there's definitely a mold issue and it really sucks, but uh, it's all we've got for now until we dig the drainage ditch, which requires money and time. Uh, funny how everything does, huh? But here we go. I've already moved a bunch of the stuff out of the way and then I'm gonna set this little area up. So, this is what it looks like now. All right, not bad. It looks better, and we got a place to work out. Little by little, making this place <laughs> home. And so a project here and a project there back and forth between the house and the cabin, bouncing around like a grasshopper in a hay field. <laughs> hey, Mal. Oh, well done, boyfriend. I got a crazy Mia coming for you. Jeez. And all the while, the wildfire smoke from Canada was scratching our throats. Man, it is smoking. You can see it in the trees. And with Old Blue down and out, I started thinking of how I'd love to have a reliable work truck that I could beat on and use in the winter too. And so I started keeping my eye out and looking around. And now that we were out of the mill town and living in the hills full time, we were seeing more wildlife than ever and feeling truly connected to the forests we love. Allie, come here really slowly. You haven't seen this van, have you? <laughs> My friend Jared came by yesterday and we were measuring around the house. We're gonna do legit drains all the way around the house. Also the driveway has gone to shambles. There's a, a ravine in it and uh, we're gonna do the driveway while we're at it, make a little spot for firewood and level out some areas. It's, it's gonna be game changing. I gotta go buy the drain pipes this morning. I think they're 10 foot sections. I'm gonna see if I can fit them in this thing. Stellar day on our hands. Got a lot of editing to catch up on. This happens every summer. It's like the work piles up because you're doing so much stuff at once. But I think Allie's sister's coming today and we might take her swimming. She loves vans and she's never been in this. So maybe take an hour or two away. Just gonna have to work an hour or two later tonight. It's all about balance.
And so I picked up the pipes and had a look at another work truck along the way. So the truck's been sitting down here for a few weeks now. Needs to be retimed, might even need more than that. It's starting to mold. Down here it's just, there's not that much sunlight and just, I mean, everything's molding in the cabin, in the house. This summer is one for the books. I, I don't ever remember a summer this wet when I was younger. And I spent a lot of time on Marketplace researching and looking for that simple work truck that would make life easier. And also, I needed something to plow the long driveway at the house this winter. And so Jared came with me to test out one, but it didn't feel right. And so the search continued. And then one weekend I woke up to the low hum of a machine in the yard. Jared had arrived bright and early with a mini excavator and we were gonna fix the drainage problem once and for all. We were doing simple French drains around the problem areas and not long into digging, we saw how saturated the ground was and how good it was that we were getting after it sooner rather than later. So on Saturday, we made good progress and got right back to it on Sunday morning. Ahoy! Just like that, there was proper drainage in place and it was time to scope the driveway. Before long, we had multi-tiered parking spots and the driveway was no longer a ravine. Hey, 
This is great. <laughs> Holy crap. Come on. No what? Way. <laughs> no way. Then I can watch my trout and coffee video on peace tonight. Oh yeah, baby. And I bought a banjo at a local tag sale, which is something I've been wanting for a long time. And it wasn't long after installation that the drainage was proving to work. And with that finished, we were all meeting at the cabin to finally get Old Blue back on our feet. I wasn't because my wife was deathly ill. Oh yeah, so I get to go. It's uh, Jared. We still couldn't get her to fire, so the only option was to get her out of there and over to John's shop. Oh, we're trying to get Old Blue out of the woods. Lord knows. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I think we just ran back to jobs like this. I don't see any problem. truck on the trailer. I did most of the work, not to brag. No adjustment. No, no adjustment. No, we're just gonna send it. In that case, let's take the bump away. And now that we had her out, we needed the help of John's grandpa to lead us in retiming the engine. first homemade pizza of the year, which was a very different pace compared to years prior. finally got her to fire. And while she was running, she needed a new distributor cap and wires. And so the order was placed, 
and I took my chances in the meantime. Cause boy, I sure miss the sound and the smell and the feel of that old machine. And there were more visitors in the yard and more poking around old work trucks. Jared rip old blue for the first time, and he took me down roads that he used to drive with his dad and his brothers when he was younger. And as we drove, the sun burned orange in the late summer hills. I'm gonna be a carpenter for two months. My mom made me this canvas tool belt. My really good friend Mason is restoring his family cottage down on the ocean and he needed help doing it. And he asked me multiple times over and over again. I hemmed and hawed. I, I got a lot on my plate with the house and the cabin and really wanna tighten things up before winter, but I don't know when I'll get an opportunity like this again. To spend a lot of time with a good friend learning and building and restoring something. I mean, we're not getting any younger, and people I know are getting married, having kids, and their lives are changing, and who knows how much longer I'll have the freedom to be able to take a job like this on for two months. It definitely feels weird to leave home and to leave everything I'm working on, but it's stimulating and it's good for the mind to try and get out of your comfort zone any chance you get. This is out of my comfort zone. My comfort zone is here. I'll still be coming home on the weekends and adventuring and hopefully chipping away on things, but majority of my time will be at the family cottage working with Mason. We're gonna be spending a lot of time in the ocean too. He's, he's big into spear fishing and We'll be doing a lot of ocean adventures, so it's gonna be cool. I don't, I don't really get to spend that much time at the ocean. I usually go once or twice a year, so I'm really looking forward to living the ocean life for a couple months. And of course, I'll be back in time for fall. It's gonna be a major life change. And I'm anxious, I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm ready. I think I'm gonna be going up in the truck with a trailer behind it. Just gotta put the new distributor in and Make sure she's running top, because it's a long journey. This is what life is about. It's about seizing opportunities in front of you, seizing memorable opportunities. I'm gonna be working double time, double time, because I'm not gonna stop making videos, and I'm gonna tell the story of the cottage, so it's gonna be interesting. I really look forward to sharing the journey with you, showing you the transformation of the old family cottage and giving you some of that late summer ocean feel. Come on. Honestly, this has been a heck of a year because of you guys. And I just wanna say thank you for tuning in, for supporting, for being a part of this journey. Um, it's been a lot of highs and lows and being able to share the story with people who understand and appreciate it is what keeps me sane. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I can't wait to share this next chapter with you.